Hey y'all, I'm Sarah. I share easy recipes and affordable fashion. So if that's you, make sure you hit the little subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. But today I'm actually gonna be sharing my top gift guides for the holidays. Going to be sharing lots of affordable stocking stuffer ideas for girls and guys. Um, some gifts for the cook, for mothers, grandmothers, mother-in-laws. Um, a couple of like splurge worthy options and then some beauty options as well. And then I'm gonna kind of walk through those when I get there, kind of explain why I prefer the more affordable option over <laughs> the name brand option um, for those as well. But let's get into so, it. I'm gonna start with the item that I just got this year. I feel like this would make the best gift it is this beautiful crock pot. I got this from Walmart. Mine actually tore up. I have had it for years and I decided to go with this one. I will say it only has three settings. It has low, warm, high, and off. That's it, nothing too crazy. But I got the sage green color and I think it's so pretty. But it also comes in like a matte white, a black, a blue so many color options but the best part about this y'all 35 dollars this is originally only 50 i'm not sure how long it's going to be on sale but right now it is on sale for 35 dollars this is such a good affordable gift option and it's also beautiful i love the gold accents oh and if you're not sure what the little thing is sticking up on the back it's actually to hold the lid so you don't spill anything when you need to stir or scoop out, which I think is genius. <laughs> um, but the splurge worthy option, this would be a great option for any cooks in your house, people who love to cook. I love my food to have flavor. This is the Levo machine. I love this thing. It's basically a butter and oil diffuser but it is so easy to use. It's like a Keurig for that. Um, but basically all you do is take this little pod. Let's say you're gonna make garlic and herb butter. You put your garlic and your herbs in here, pop it in here, put your butter in, close it, turn it on, press start, and that's it. You do not have to watch it. You do not have to check on it. It does its thing. You can go about your day. When it's done, you just come back, you dispense it, and you're good to go. Um, but this, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but if you love to cook and you love your food to have flavor, I highly recommend this. I love mine. Um, and they did increase my code, so you can use code SJB for 15% off right now. Um, but that is a really good gift. Also, for the people who have everything, like mothers, mother-in-laws, grandmothers. I'm sure that they don't have that and they would love it. Okay, gonna go into the beauty products really quick and then we will get to the stocking stuffer ideas. But this is my curling iron. I feel like this would be a great gift idea for any teenage girls, college girls, um, adults, women. <laughs> This is so good. I've tried lots of curling irons and honestly, I thought a curling iron was a curling iron. I didn't think any was really any better than others, but this one is so good. My hair is smoother, my curls are smoother, my curls last longer. I love this. And I actually have the one that has the interchangeable barrel. So all you have to do is unlock it, pop the barrel out, and you can put in a bigger size barrel, a wand, whatever you prefer, but I feel like that's a nice option as well um so i feel like this is a really good gift idea a little bit pricier but they do go on sale and it is worth it after i got the curling iron i thought i would try their straightener i have naturally kinky curly hair and this is the best straightener that i have ever used i don't have to keep going over my hair to get the like kink and curl out but it is so good and it has so many settings i haven't even taken this off but you kind of like let the straightener know if you have bleached hair, how thick your hair is, how coarse your hair is, and it decides what heat setting you need so it's not gonna burn or fry or damage your hair. So, love those. 
Highly recommend. Now, I also tried the blow dry brush in the T3 brand. It's not that I don't like it, but I had this one first. It's the Hot Tools like blow dry brush. This one is $100 and I think the uh, T3 one is almost $300 maybe. Highly recommend this one. I try to use the T3 one because I feel like it's probably better for my hair. But I don't know because it takes me so much longer to get it dry and get the curl out and get it smooth than this one that I just go for this one because this one gets it dry so much faster. I feel like it gets it smoother, straighter. I love this thing. My grandpa got my grandma this two Christmases ago. She loves it. Got another one. So this would make a good gift idea for, you know, girls, mothers, grandmothers, and I think it's under a hundred dollars. Okay. Now for the stocking stuffer ideas. I feel like stockings are a little bit tricky because you don't want to spend too much, but you also want to fill them up and put like items in there that are going to be used and useful. Um, so gonna share a couple items that I think would be good ideas. I'm gonna start with more of like the beauty products first. Um, but Tula, I love their body line. This is their body exfoliator. I always use this like when I self tan or my legs just need to be a little bit smoother after I shave. Um, I love their exfoliator and then their, um, body moisturizer. This is like a really thick lotion and it just soaks in so good. I love both of these and these will be good options because they're going to take up some space. Um, but they are actually good products. And I also have a code for them. It's SB underscore 20, I think. I will leave it in the caption, but highly recommend those. And then also, I've been loving these products recently. They're from Burst. Um, but this is a acne control body mist. I've been using this on like my back because the spray on this just sprays so evenly. It's so nice. But um, this would be a good idea. This lotion is a retinol lotion. Um, so I've actually been putting this like on the back of my thighs and then the body oil. This makes your skin so smooth like after you shave. So love those. Um, and then makeup wise. Now some makeup products are obviously more expensive. You all know I love my affordable makeup. I hate spending money on makeup, but there's something that like I don't want to say you have to have, but like you have to have. <laughs> um, so I try to go the more affordable route and all of these would be great stocking stuffer ideas. It's something that like I would use. Um, so anyways, this mascara, I use this mascara for length, but it's the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I think it's under $10 or around there. This mascara, I use this mascara after the Maybelline one. I use this one for more like volume. Um, it's the Essence Lash Princess. I think it's like $5, under $10 on Amazon. Those would be great ideas. My favorite lip liners, these are the NYX Retractable Lip Liners, $5. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I have been using this, I didn't use it today, but like if I really want my makeup to look good, I'll put it in the corner of my eye and then kind of like on my bottom, like kind of like an eyeliner on the bottom of my eye, uh, but it's under $10. My favorite foundation, I love this stuff. I have tried so many high-end foundations and I always come back to this one. It's literally like $10, it's the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear i wear shade rose ivory 415 love this stuff ten dollars <laughs> great stocking stuff idea um this is the tart juicy lip i like the plump one which is what this is i like the shade white peach that is what i actually have on right now um but that would make a good stocking stuffer obviously these are stocking stuffers for girls <laughs> but i do have some ideas for guys as well um but this tula brighten up primer gel i use this primer every day you can see i'm almost out of it but 
It does not clog my pores and I feel like my makeup looks so much smoother when I use this. I have also tried lots of different primers and this is hands down the best one that I have found. That would make a good stocking stuffer. Um, and then this, so starting from here on out, this can kind of be like girl or guy. This one is pink, so obviously if you're getting it for a yeah, you probably want to get a different color, unless they like pink and that's okay. Um, but I use this in the shower. This is a body loofah, but it's silicone. So it's much more like hygienic <laughs> than the other loofahs. Um, so I love this thing and I was worried that it wouldn't suds up good, but it actually suds up really good. So I really like this. I got it from Amazon. I think it's like around $10. Um, a Carhartt beanie. This would be a good slugging stuffer idea for a girl or a guy. It's something that's going to be used, especially during those winter months. Um, you can roll it up, put it, put it in a stocking. It would take up some space. Um, and they're gonna, like, you're going to get used out of it. Okay, this, I highly recommend this to anyone. If you have dry or cracked lips, this is the best chapstick, Blistex, whatever you want to call it. I have tried the more expensive things and I like them if I just need like my lips to be moisturized. But if I actually have dry and cracked lips, this, it's the Blistex Medicated Lip Ointment heals my lips in like a day. It is so good and it's like $2. I think you can get a two pack for like $4. So if you have multiple people that you're buying stockings for, Blistex. Speaking of dry and damaged skin, this, my number one stocking stuffer recommendation <laughs> for anyone, dads, kids, grandparents, whoever it may be, this stuff is it. It is the Duke Cannon Bloody Knuckles. If you get dry hands in the winter, I, mine are so bad. I literally, my knuckles start bleeding. I have bloody knuckles. Um, but I think it's because I clean a lot. I wash dishes a lot. I'm outside in the cold. Uh, but my hands will literally crack and I hate lotion on my hands. I hate having slippery hands and lotion not soaking in and not being able to get anything open when I have lotion on my hands. I want something to soak in. I've tried the um, gold bond hand cream. I do like it too, but nothing beats this in my opinion. It is like a thicker consistency. You don't need a lot. I just put a little bit on my hand and it soaks right in. And this stuff is the best. I got this for my grandpa last year for Christmas and he is the same way. His hands are so bad. They get so dry. Um, they crack, they bleed, and he's tried everything, you know, like the old time remedies, the old time products. And this hand cream is $9.99. I get it at Lowe's. I think you can get it a couple other places. Um, but my grandpa's also a little tight, so I did not think he would ever go out and buy a $9.99 hand cream. <laughs> he immediately went and bought more. My whole family is hooked now. We always have these on hand, especially during the winter. This is the best you can get. Highly recommend this. It can be a stocking stuffer or a gift idea. I just got it for my grandpa as a gift, but it would also make a good stocking stuffer. Again, this would be a good stocking stuffer for anyone. Now, this is going to be on the higher end um, for a stocking stuffer. But it's also a gift that is going to be used. So it doesn't have to be a stocking stuffer, but it could be if you wanted it to be. But it is a phone charger. It's a portable phone charger. And what I like about this is everything that you need is included in this. It's so slim and sleek. But if you need to charge the portable charger, that just pops out of the back and you plug it straight into the wall. It has the iPhone charger on this side. And then I think this goes to the Samsung phone, but everything is right here 
You don't need any other cords, anything. It's all right here. I love this. It's under $50. I think it's normally like 40. I think it was on sale last I checked for like 30. I'm not sure, but this would be a good gift idea for someone or stocking stuffer. And then this is my daily devotional book. I read this every single day, um, but I really like this one. This one's from Charles Stanley, but this would be a good gift because the new year starts January. So I'm going to have to find a new one, but I really liked this one this year. Um, and I highly recommend this. And also it's very affordable. I think it's probably like 10 or $15, but each day has the date and then just one page. Um, so no excuses. If you need a good devotional, I highly recommend this one. Depending on your stocking, it may or may not fit in there, but <laughs> regardless, it would be a good gift idea. And then this little mug, I think this is 10 or $15, super affordable. I think you can get these at Target. This is like the sandstone, maybe it's like a tan color. It would work for a guy or a girl, but a good little coffee mug. That would make a good stocking stuffer. And then I think that's it for the stocking stuffers. Um, but one more gift idea. I feel like it's always nice to get a personalized gift for like parents or grandparents um, or really anyone, but I feel like this would be such a good idea. So last year I actually got this for my mom and what you do is you can get them to make it, print it and put it in a frame for you or you can do the digital file and then print it yourself, put it in an own frame. Um, I did the digital, I actually printed a small one out for myself. So I'm actually gonna show you mine. Um, but it's a like picture tracing drawing of our dogs. And I think that that is so cute and such a good and sweet gift. My mom loved this. I actually got her a big one, like a 12 by 16 or something. Um, but you can print out little ones. You can make it your wallpaper on your phone or your computer. But if you, there's any dog lovers in your family, this would be such a good idea. You just like submit pictures of your dog and then they kind of like trace it digitally on the computer, I think, and then send it to you that way. But such a good gift idea. But that is a wrap. I will link everything up and I'll have the link in the caption for y'all. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions and always feel free to message me over on Instagram. I'm more likely to see it there. My Instagram handle is Sarah, S-A-R-A dot J dot Baker, but also subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.